The near collapse of Bear Stearns remains in the spotlight on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers will be questioning the head of the investment bank as well as the chief executive of J.P. Morgan Chase about the bailout. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson and Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke are also expected to testify before the banking committee. On Wednesday, the Fed chief conceded for the first time that the economy could slip into a recession. But Bernanke was quick to predict that things should turn around by the end of the year. Wall Street tried to shrug off the Fed chairman's comments, but in the end, stocks finished lower. The Dow slid 48 points. The Nasdaq dipped a point. Investors will be looking for the latest report on new unemployment claims due out this morning, and oil prices will be in focus. Crude rose nearly $4 to just under $105 a barrel. That's despite news that U.S. oil inventories grew more than expected. The price surge came after government data showed that demand for gasoline is on the rise. And some strong earnings news from the maker of the BlackBerry could help boost stocks today. Research in motion beat Wall Street's expectations, reporting fourth quarter profits that doubled. The company signed up more than two million new customers during the quarter. RIM now has 14 million BlackBerry subscribers. That's your Money Watch. Log on to CBSNews.com for more. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Alexis Christophorus.